The quickest way to improve your videos is to invest in an external microphone. This is just my smartphone and it's onboard mic and it's pretty good actually, it's not a bad microphone. As long as you get close to these microphones they normally sound okay. Adding something like this, this is the Rode Smart Lab Plus, is a really good way to improve the sound. Hopefully you can hear that, that's an improvement on just the ordinary smartphone microphone sound. And it certainly will be an improvement if you're in a loud area or an echoey area. Lab mics like these just pick up the sound from around your face, so they don't pick up all the background noise. But this lab mic's got one issue for me, which is that it uses a headphone and microphone jack connector. And these latest smartphones, they don't have microphone jacks, so you already need to use the connector, you already need to use a USB connector. The second problem is that as soon as you connect that, then it no longer recognises the speakers in the phone. So when you play back and have the microphone connected, it tries to like play it back through headphones, which don't exist on this. That's not such a big deal when I'm recording on my phone, so I don't particularly want to listen to something back as I'm recording on the phone. But when I use a computer, when I use my work computer, for example, to record videos in school, then I'm constantly having to unplug and replug that microphone to be able to hear what I've actually recorded. And that Rode Smart Lab Plus is really, really good, but it does cost 50 quid, so it's not a cheap option. This is the Boyer BYM3 USB-C lavalier microphone. So I'm going to give this a go because USB mics are really, really good for giving you clean, crisp audio because they are, rather than actually sending an analog signal, they are sending a digital signal through straight into the digital audio converter in the phone. And actually that is going to give you this really high quality sound. USB mics are definitely the way to go when you're recording into a computer. So I'm going to give this one a go. I'm going to give it a go into my phone. I'm going to give it a go into the laptop to see how that works. Just open the window there to let the butterfly out. Another great thing is because it's a Boyer, it's a little bit cheaper. So it's not quite as well known a name as the Rode is. absolute miles of cable but a nice little thing to keep it tidy those miles of cable could be pretty useful I think it's a six meter cable and it's clipped and wind sock which you might as well use don't know if you quite call them dead cats when they look like that so let's give that a go see how that sounds uh, well I, I don't know yet but uh, certainly the build quality seems fine it's a little bit of a larger, less conspicuous microphone than the Rode is, but to be honest, I'm not too worried about that because who cares if you're seeing a microphone on your lapel. So after having a quick look, a quick listen rather, on the phone, how that actually sounds played back, I think it sounds better than the onboard microphone on the phone, but I don't think it sounds as good as the Rode. So I think there's a bit of a trade up there. Are you looking for the convenience of the straight into the USB-C, or do you think actually it's worth that extra 20 quid for the better sound quality? I do think the Rode has the edge on that sound quality. I think it will still get used for me, but I think I might be sticking with the Rode Smart Lav when I'm using the smartphone. However, the real acid test is what it sounds like when I plug that into the computer. So I'm gonna give that a crack now. This is just the ordinary onboard stereo pair of microphones that are up there near the webcam on this HP laptop. This is a... This is a HP ProBook laptop. So this is the Rode Smart Lab Plus and this is plugged into the headphone and microphone jack and this should be a big improvement on just the ordinary stereo pair of microphones. Let's see how that sounds. And next we'll try the Boyer. Now this is the Boyer and let's just compare that to the other two options. As long as this is a good deal better than the stereo microphones, I'm happy that this is a good purchase at that price. And I think that actually this would do a really good job of improving your simple videos if you were to use, for example, voice over PowerPoints for your kind of distance learning, your blended learning, this would be a really good purchase for you. Let's just listen back to it and I'll come back to you and tell you what I think. <laughs> so actually out of the three, the Boyer was the best on this. So that is really confirming what I thought would be the case that a USB mic on a computer is the way to go. So I would definitely recommend this if you're making any PowerPoint presentations, any distance learning, I think this is the, definitely the thing to have. Also, also it does work as I was expecting that you can have it playing back through the computer speakers and then you don't need to unplug and replug this microphone. It also has a six meter cable. So if you're perhaps making videos from the front of your class because you want to be able to share those out there on the internet afterwards, 
afterwards. This is probably a good way to go because you can move around quite a bit without feeling too chained to your computer. My final thoughts then are buy it. It's an improvement on the onboard microphone of any camera. It is a vast improvement on the onboard microphone and interestingly enough, the SmartLav Plus on the computer. I would definitely go for the SmartLav Plus on the smartphone. I guess that's what it's made for. It still works really well by the connector. It still works really well by the, that converter from an ordinary headphone jack into the USB port on your phone. And you have one of those for an iPhone as well. So if you're gonna be filming on your phone, go for the Rode SmartLav Plus. That is better than the Boya M3. But if you're going to be filming, into a computer and your computer has a USB-C port importantly. This has a USB-C connector but you could get a converter if you didn't have a USB-C port on the computer you could get a converter into a normal USB and this would work just fine I'm sure. So this is a recommend, it's not expensive and it will drastically improve any kind of digital learning resources that you do on your computer. Go for it.